Oh, right. Now, yes, yes, you may not course. know about the investigator poster on. Maybe you do. If you do, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, if you don't, you're about to, and uh, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, now, early in 1973, as things were wrapping up on the protectors, uh, and they were making preparations for a possible second series of UFO, which was never to be, mm-hmm. Dad and Sylvia decided they would make another pilot episode for a Super Marination program. Uh, and they were hoping to eventually show that to their friend and colleague, George Heinemann, who was the vice president of a special children's programming for NBC in America. Uh-huh. And they were obviously hoping that he would commission a full series of this wonderful yeah. new show. Yeah. Now, they decided yeah. to, to continue their route at going down the hybrid nature of the Secret Service with puppets mm. and real people and real settings. Mm. It was privately financed. It was all shot in Malta. I think really it was oh. an excuse for a glorified holiday. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And from the word go, the uh, pilot was beset with problems. Uh, inclement ah. weather, unpredictable issues with the radio-controlled model car that was driven by the puppet characters. Um, right. And in fact, Dad was so hap- uh, so unhappy. <laughs> I was going to say so happy then. <laughs> so, yeah, delighted. So unhappy with the thing. He never actually screened it to NBC or oh. anyone else. And the project was abandoned. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. It's so, it's so sad. But it's, yeah. it, you can contrast that with the fact that uh, Dinky Toys was so full of faith and hope based on the commercial yeah. success of all the previous Anderson shows that they immediately jumped on the opportunity to produce vehicles based on The Investigator. Okay. It was literally the moment they heard about the project. Yep, yep, we'll back you on this one. Great, we'll do it. Um, right. So with a line of highly successful die-cast toys that were, were based on main vehicles from Thunderbirds, Scarlet, uh, Joe 90, etc., even the Secret Service mm-hmm. uh, and UFO, mm-hmm. Dinky eagerly set to work preparing to launch toys based on Reg Hill's designs for the investigator car and boat. Yeah. Uh, the prototypes and the, uh, the dies and all that sort of thing cost thousands and thousands of pounds so they could be ready for the prototypes. Dinky were then obviously understandably disappointed when the expected Mm. series didn't materialise and wasn't even shown or pitched and they were told it was abandoned. Um, So they'd spent all that money, so they decided to release the toys anyway. (laughs) However, not under the title of The Investigator because, well, that would be totally meaningless, wouldn't it? What would that mean? Yes, exactly. Instead, in green livery with military-style decals, the car was issued in 1975 as an armoured command car designed by Jerry Anderson, uh, while the boat was eventually launched in 1977 as a Coast Guard amphibious missile launcher, with no reference whatsoever (laughs) to its connection to the abandoned Anderson project. Oh, dear. Well, well. What a shame. There you are. Uh, Gosh. What what a shame! What an you know all the people that put effort into that. I mean, the, you know, the crew consisted of a lot of people you would you would already know from those days. Uh, yeah. Obviously, Dad, Reg Hill, um, Harry yeah. Oakes, the cameraman, uh, David yeah. Lane and Len Walter were editing. John and Wanda Brown on the puppets. Uh, you know, models built by Space Models again. So, you know, great pedigree. Well, but yeah. but I mean, uh, have, you, have you actually seen it? Uh, I think I might have done, yes. I mean, I've tried to erase it from my mind, haven't but we? there's something in there. <laughs> haven't we Just, all? Yes, yes. Uh, mm. Now, if you want to know more about this, then I can recommend you go onto our YouTube channel and search for Jerry Anderson Primers, and in there is a primer all about the investigator, giving you more information all about the, um, well, the total disaster of a pilot show that it was. Oh. Um, but it's got some familiar things in there. Peter Dinerly's voice as the the, oh. the titular investigator, yes, the, uh, the alien. Right. Yes. Um, so you know, there's something you'll know. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Shane Shane Rimmer voices, uh, Sylvia voices Gosh. in it. Uh, Sylvia mm. wrote the script. So yeah, right. you, you might have expected well, it did a little better, but uh, well, the thing oh. is, no one wants to make a flop, do they? That's yeah, you know, that's the thing. I'm sure they applied themselves, committed themselves, and wanted to do a good job and make something wonderful. And sometimes it just doesn't happen, does it? And it definitely did not happen here. So. Uh, yes. There you go. If you want to watch The Investigator in full, you can check out the Lost Worlds of Jerry Anderson DVD set. It's also streaming in, I think, the US and uh, the UK on Amazon. Uh, mm-hmm. So go and enjoy yourself there. Or maybe you won't enjoy yourself. But it's only 23 <laughs> yeah. minutes, so it's yeah. not a huge time commitment. And it's kind of funny and quirky <laughs> and weird. So enjoy that. There you go. 